A WordPress menu is a set of links to pages, posts, categories, and other content. Themes usually have default menus in place when the theme is installed, but WordPress gives you the ability to create custom menus. These custom menus can be used in widgets, or they can be placed in designated areas of a theme, called menu theme locations. These theme locations are determined by each individual theme. Menus are created and managed in the Appearance menu screen. Initially, the menu screen is grayed out until you create the first custom menu. If the active theme does not support custom menus, then you'll see a yellow banner telling you that it does not support native menus. And if you're changing themes, and you've already created some menus, then this menu location box will have that information in the drop-downs. And the menus you created will remain in the Create Menu section. Using a custom menu is a three-step process. Create the menu, add the menu items, and then place the menu. To create a menu, click the plus tab on the Create Menu section. Enter a name in the Menu Name field and click the Create Menu button. The menu is created when you see the yellow Success banner. Now add the menu items by selecting from the module boxes on the left. These are boxes for all the pages, posts, categories, and tags that have been created. If you don't see some of these boxes, then click the Screen Options tab and select any you want to show or uncheck any you want to hide. The sections for Advanced Menu Property is covered in a separate video. Click the Screen Options tab to close the panel. Select the menu items and click the Add to Menu button to place those on the selected menu. You also have the ability to create custom links. This can be a link to other content on the site, or it can be a link to content from another site. In the Custom Links box, enter the URL in the label used for the link and click the Add to Menu button. A hash sign can also be entered for the URL as a placeholder so when it's clicked, it will remain on the page. This is handy for the top of a drop-down menu that you don't want to be an active link. Now, format the menu items. These items can be rearranged by dragging and dropping the items in place. And child items can be made by holding and dragging the item under the parent. In addition, the item name can be changed by clicking the bar to open the item and entering a new name in the Navigation Label field. The title attribute is what shows when the mouse is hovered over an item. Now click the Save Menu button. Any changes that are made to the menu will not be saved or active until you click the Save Menu button and you get the yellow bar that it has been updated. Menu items can be removed from the active menu by clicking the Remove link at the bottom of the item. The Delete menu line, if clicked, will permanently delete the selected active menu. It will not delete any of the actual pages, posts, categories, or tags. They'll remain unchanged and the box on the right, if checked, will automatically add any top-level parent pages to the menu. This will not add any post or categories or tags, only parent pages to the menu. Now, with the menu created and formatted, it can be placed in a location. The supported locations are listed in the Theme Locations box. Theme locations will vary from theme to theme. Select the location and then choose a menu from the drop-down. All the menus will be listed in each of the drop-downs. You can select the same menu for different locations. Click the Save button for any changes to be active. These menus can also be used in a widget as well, like the Custom Menu widget. Remember to click the Save Menu button before leaving the screen.